this weekend a little bit. You know, it was a big weekend against UC San Diego, senior weekend, and you get off board. You know, what was it like to, to get this week? It was definitely exciting. Uh, we had kind of a bone to pick with San Diego, uh, and the girls were determined <laughs> to make it hurt and to take four was just a great thing. And to have our seniors go out like they did was really important to the rest of the team. And in that 13th inning, that's what we said. We're like, no, we're winning this for our seniors. It's time to go home. Uh, let's do this for them. And you know, we were able to pull it off. So it was big. What was that final game like? And that's two full softball games, right? Uh, it was stressful. I was, you know, for both teams had people on base. It wasn't like nobody was on base. It wasn't like we were going one, two, three. It was, you know, bases loaded here, two runners on here, and so what with them too. And for them, I would think, I think for us, it was probably a little more stressful because they've got speed. I mean, you had a normal ground ball. Half of these girls are on first base. And it was really showed a lot just for Abima to come in and, and throw like the Abima we know and to help Perez and and Williams finish off that game was was really big. Um, I'm really happy for McKibben. Uh, you know she's struggling. She's been struggling kind of all year. Not, hasn't really found her her groove. You know she sits at number eight in the lineup, and she came through big for us. And I, I hope that get a spark. You know, I hope that sparks something in her. Uh, you know she slowed it, slid into second. And she yells in the dugout. She goes, "It's let's go. It's game. Let's go. Let's finish this." And so it was really good to see that. And so you decide in game one of the series to go with Liz Perez, you know, well-deserving, and Katie responds with three wins in the series. Mm -hmm. You know, as a coach, you, know, you make that decision. You hope that Katie responds that way, and to see her do that, what was that like? It was great, and like I said earlier, it was good to see Katie throw like the Abima we, we know. And she's been, you know, she's been struggling. She's still, still throwing well, but she really hasn't been the Katie that we all know, and so it was really good to see her come out here and, you know, get three wins today and hopefully she continues that the spark that she has right now into the rest of the postseason. Uh, but as far as, you know, starting Perez, uh, Perez had earned that start the first game. And the reason why she didn't get the start the second day is because we kept her with the same umpire. It had nothing to do with how she had done. It was we she did worked well with that umpire and so we kept him her with her in the second we kept them together in the second game, um, on the second day. So uh, but it was really nice. It was great to see Williams come in and step up. Maddie did a great job for a freshman to go into war like that. She was ready. She, she was like, she was in the dugout pretending to put her armor on. She goes, let's go. I'm ready. And I'm like, I'm sending you out to the wolf. She goes, that's all right. She was like, I eat wolves. <laughs> she, she was ready to go. So it was really, just to see that from Maddie was really good. And for her, to, I know she gave up a run in the seventh, but for this team to back her up and for Abima to come in and finish off was, was really nice to see. I talk about going into this final series, and I heard you kind of joking off camera. You know, we're just going to win four. You know, talk about all the scenarios that are out there. Talk about what you guys are just focused on as a team. Uh, we don't even look at the scenarios. Uh, Destiny is in our own hands. We're going to go out there, and our job is to take four. Uh, going three and one, even though we're winning the series, is, would be a disappointment to us. We know we're capable of winning four. We're playing well right now, and that's what we want to do. Uh, not only just to be, you know, we're not only searching for a first team, but we just want to win. Our job is to win. And, you know, winning four games and a Monterey loss would give us first place, but we want to win four games. We're not worried about what Monterey does. We'll, we'll see them later in the CC2As and, uh, you know, we'll let it come to head there. But right now our job is to win four. Uh, with that being said, I'm not sure if you've already talked about it before, but, you know, looking at the standings, you guys have three more wins, but because of that, you know, series that never happened, what is your feeling about what happened with UC San Diego and Monterey Bay not playing? It is what it is. I can't control it. Unfortunately, it's not a good scenario. Uh, I could go on and on about why this it should be it shouldn't be this way or what had happened that weekend, but it is what it is, and we're just gonna have to play our game and not worry about what is what happens. You know, it's gonna make it rough for us, obviously, because of percentage points, but. We'll see him in CC Toys. Talk about, the CC, so talk about the CC Toys a little bit. I mean, you guys are obviously riding extremely high. You four in a row, trying to sweep another one. And talk about taking that momentum into the conference uh, Well, that's all. It's, what's it all about? It's who's hitting their peak and who's hitting their stride towards the end. And, you know, we've had our ups and downs through the season. Uh, but 
we, we seem to be hitting our stride right now, and that's what's important. We're going to continue on to uh, postseason like that. Um, our offense is coming together one through nine. I mean, like I said earlier, it was great to see McKinnon come through. Dre actually had a pretty good weekend. You know, she's sitting nine in our running order. We don't expect a lot from her. Uh, but her being a senior with that experience, she really came through. And, of course, the rest of our lineup, you know, Hollinsworth, Walker, uh, Randall, I, I could go on. Our whole lineup's deadly. I mean, Pena going six for seven with ten walks. I mean, who does that? Uh, but, and, and for our pitching, you know, Perez has been riding high lately, and for Bima to, you know, come in and hopefully catch fire, it's, it's going to be a great thing. Put those two things together, and uh, it's we're going to be tough on other teams. That they're going to be hurting. And lastly, Coach, you know, going up against Stanislaus, the bottom of the conference, you know, how do you make sure your team doesn't go into a trap game? Because you guys are just beat one of the best in the conference, mm -hmm. swept them. Now you're going against the worst. We got to treat them like they are the best team in the conference. We got to, you know, we we tell ourselves every team we play, we have to play like they're national champions. Because if we play down to the level, if we let them stay in the game, we're going to lose. And so our, our job is to come in here and treat Stanislaus like they just won a national championship or they're ranked number one in the country right now and play our hardest and, you know, make every opportunity hurt.